This is Social Friday, the day that we bring the internet to your TV. What other way to do it uh, than to have a content creator on set with us? We did you one better and we brought one of the best in the country right now. Uh, she is a fashion uh, lifestyle, uh, a pillars of fashion, lifestyle and travel. And uh, she lives by the Bible. As Isaiah 60 <laughs> verse 22 is what she lives by. And uh, God is within her. She's here to share a story about content creation and uh, life as a realtor. Karibu sana, Miss Kim Kardesi. Thank you so much Did for I say having the name me. right? No. Right, it's just, Kim Kardesi. Kim Kardesi. Yeah, Kardesi. You better know. <laughs> it's Kim Kardesi. Exactly. All right, so your camera is right there. Mm -hmm. uh, just uh, give them a brief intro of yourself uh, okay. before we talk about Isaiah 60 verse 22. Okay, okay. Okay, so my name is Kimberly, aka Kim Kadaisi. I'm a fashion travel and lifestyle content creator. I'm also a student, so I'm still in school, about to graduate though. So yeah, so that's basically all there is to Kim. Karibu sana, Kim. Thank uh, we you. We were having a conversation. I, mm -hmm. I was so happy to to learn that you're going to the same school I went. Yeah, funny thing. When I was there, uh, the, the the beauty was there. Beauty was there, like you know. <laughs> <laughs> this is never right. I think I will not say this is the same Kim. <laughs> Alright, so Kim has come a long way. Yeah. You've grown as a person. Yeah. Uh, in t inside mm -hmm. and on the outside. Outside, yeah. Alright. I'm interested in Isaiah 60 verse 22 first. Before mm. anything else. Okay, so it says God is within her, she'll not fall. God so basically, her, yeah. There's nothing not to explain. Fall. Yeah. Okay, so... God is within you, you cannot fall. Never. And you you, you are not in control of how God protects you. Yeah, yeah. Protects I'm not in control of anything. Uh -huh. God is the one who controls everything. So I just believe that in whatever I do, uh -huh. I have him by my side uh -huh. and I'll not fall or fail. Powerful words right there. Mm. Okay. So you say in your profile or in your bio right here mm -hmm. that during the day, you're a realtor <laughs> by day and a content creator by day. By, by night. night. What yeah. kind of content is created by Ashley? Uh, it's because, you see, I'm in school. Uh -huh. So obviously I have to attend classes during the day. Uh -huh. Then the only time I have to create content, like uh -huh. shoot my YouTube videos, shoot uh -huh. my Instagram content, is uh -huh. obviously so at night or after my classes, if my classes finish early enough. Yeah, uh -huh. so basically that's what it means. So you have to juggle the two. Yeah, between the two. Yeah. All right, which one do you have a passion for the most? Between you get, YouTube and between, between content creation and, and going to class, and obviously it's to quite, definitely content creation. Uh -huh. But also, non taka backup. Like my degree is my backup in case anything goes wrong. Uh -huh. I have something to fall back on. This is something that Kenyans say so much. In case of anything, in case yeah. of anything, mm. uh, why have we grown accustomed to in case of anything so much? Why don't we just follow our passions? I don't know. I feel like uh, you don't know what's on the other side. Mm -hmm. So you have to have something that holds you in case anything just happens. I don't know. All right. Mm. I'm told women think like that on a daily. You mm. have to have a plan mm. and a plan. A second. Yeah, exactly. Uh, men, on the other hand, uh, if we <laughs> die, we die. Is it true from your experience? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Nini mnaishi tu kuishi. But for us, no. Are you we jealous that, that we enjoy life? Yeah. Okay, you I wish I was a man. <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes. But uh, we are not this beautiful. Huh? Ah, but yeah, you look good. <laughs> it's the makeup, it's the hair, it's the outfits, it's uh -huh. all of this. But you, you're just simply looking all right, good. Talking about makeup, I'd like to get uh, mm -hmm. to know... Uh, what's your opinion on makeup? What's your take on makeup? Because people mm. uh, tend to say, Niliona mtu wakisema, makeup artist ni fundi wa kiati. Fundi wa kiati. I have to laugh. <laughs> Uh, but no, I feel like it just depends with how you view makeup. Make, but obviously, see you pack makeup, you the same. Your kaziote, your pesayote, ni metumia to look the same. No, uh, but makeup doesn't have to change you. It just amplifies what is there. Makeup amplifies what is is already there. Yeah. Wow. That's that we should be comfortable with and without makeup. Tell them how they can find you on social media so okay, they can so, stop you yeah. while we have this conversation. Yeah, uh, my Instagram handle is at Kim underscore Kadaisi mm -hmm. and on Twitter at Kim double underscore no, at double underscore Kim K K with double Y. 
All right. When you were starting out, uh -huh. uh, at a, in the recent past, the recent past uh -huh. uh, I was checking you out online. Uh -huh. uh, somebody features some other lady. Ana feature sana kwa vitu zako. Who could this be? Mm -hmm. I'm not oh, sure who you're talking. You yeah, yeah, yeah. Post right yeah, there. but I'm sure you're talking about my sister Zara. Your sister Zara. Yeah. You sort of look like yes, yeah. sister. <laughs> sister. Yes. Yes. So, uh, how is it creating content with your sister? It's really nice. I, I feel know. like Zara paved the way for me mm -hmm. because be before I began content creation, Zara was already creating content. Mm -hmm. So I used to see her create content. I used to see what she does. Mm -hmm. She even started a YouTube channel before me, so mm -hmm. it was easy for me. Juni kama linifungulia tu milango because every time mm -hmm. she works with a brand, she'd be like, yeah, if I can't work with you. I can refer you to my sister Kim, she'll work mm -hmm. with you. And so it was just so easy for me to do everything with someone who's done it before me. All right, uh, you are at 16,000 followers of IG yeah. right now. Yeah. I've been trying to get to at least a <laughs> five. How did you get to 16? Consistency uh -huh. and I think uh, connecting with your followers. All right. uh, yeah. Like you comment on their photos you like their photos because i feel like celebrities feel like they don't have to give back to the society mm -hmm. and that's how you don't grow because if you give back like if i comment on your photo you'll also comment on mine uh -huh. like wow kim kadesi commented on my photo so evil you comment on their photos you uh -huh. react to their stories uh -huh. yeah you just interact with them so it's easy yeah people. you grow yeah right. you grow with your followers people tend to think to work with brands you need hundred thousand followers you need mm -hmm. fifty thousand followers at what point did you start working with brands for cash uh i think i was at 10k you are taking yeah so 10K is the bare 10K. Minimum, yeah, yeah let's say 10k but no like zara started working with brands before she even hit 10k so kila mtu tuna masaya yake kila mtu tuna masaya yake so it's you it's how you put yourself out there yeah yeah it's what how you put yourself out there what kind of brands are you working with right now uh, fashion brands, uh -huh. uh, for lifestyle, I'm working with clubs, uh -huh. uh, which I need a club, uh -huh. yeah, even like eateries, uh -huh. and I'm also working with makeup brands, uh -huh. yeah, mostly fashion, makeup, yeah, for hosting, that's clubs, yeah, uh -huh. those are the main brands I'm working with currently. All right, uh, being in school, uh, traditionally, when somebody's in school, they're supported by their parents. Yeah. Uh, can you confidently say that you're supporting yourself right now? Off your no, 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 no. I can't say that because I still live at home. Uh -huh. I depend on my parents for everything, but just the extra I get uh -huh. is for myself. All right. The reason I ask hmm. uh, is, uh, let's say your parent uh, make but your pocket money, money for fair and mm. all this. And then your extra cash, mm. you start uh, buying nice clothes like these ones. Mm -hmm. Then they're like, oh, where are you getting all this money? If mm. you told your mom, I'm a content creator and I make money off it. And it's like, would she understand? And it's yeah. Like, understand yeah, she even knows what I do. Yeah, yeah. she understands. She knows that I po uh, all she knows is that I post on Instagram and get money. She doesn't know uh -huh. how it happens, uh -huh. but she just knows it happens. Right, because obviously she sees the packages that come in every now and then. You've received a phone call. There's a package for you at the gate. You have to go pick it up. Sometimes you're not home. She has to pick it up for uh -huh. you. So uh -huh. she just understands. So she understands what you're doing. Yeah. Uh, but she doesn't really understand. She doesn't what know she... the details of it, but she just knows. And I'm posting a picture and I'm All right. Uh, so, uh, Zara creates content as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, we're going to be hosting Zara. Uh, I hope you bring her. Yeah, I'll uh, bring her, obviously. Oh, okay. Yes. And then you have another sister that creates content as yes. well. Yes. Yeah, she's, she's not started to create content majorly, uh -huh. but she's on her way. Are we looking to see uh, a family sort of situation? Yeah. Yes, definitely. Be sure of that. A joint like mm. social media platform yes. where the sisters come together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, okay, so when it comes to family and content created by family, mm -hmm. most of the times we see uh, manufactured scandals, manufactured mm. fights. Uh, uh, what is your take on these cloud chasing uh, gimmicks? Mm. Honestly, yeah. nothing too. Whatever rocks your boat. For me, it won't work for me, but whatever rocks your boat. I like boat. you. You don't judge anyone. Mm, whatever, whatever rocks, rocks your boat. boat. Whatever you need to go to, whatever you need to be. You just you do just you. Do but yeah. would you do it? No. You would definitely never do no. it? Yeah. Why? I wouldn't do it. For clouds. Uh -huh. 
No, it's not even worth it yeah. uh, because some years from now you look back and you'll be asking yourself, why did I even do this? And the internet doesn't mm. forget. True, exactly. Have you ever fought Zara? Fought? No. <laughs> no. You don't fight? No, we don't fight. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Could never so, be us. <laughs> could never be you. Okay, let me take you back uh, to your... Uh, uh, to your profile on Instagram, yeah? mm -hmm. you say uh, your pillars are fashion, lifestyle, and travel. Yeah. How does this? Because uh, you're still in school and you're so passionate about being in school and finishing, mm -hmm. making yeah. Mama proud. Mm -hmm. I know. Uh, how, how 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 are you going to? Are you planning to link the two first, content yeah. creation and being a realtor? Okay, so I'm trying to come up with a way so that I can be able to infuse the two together uh -huh. because definitely an eight to five is not for Kim uh -huh. so that won't work. So I'm not uh -huh. going to work in the office. So I want something that is going to make me uh -huh. incorporate the two so I can be able to create content and still use my degree after right. I'm finished with school. Yeah. Okay, so you're probably going to be selling as luxury uh, houses. houses. Yeah, please be ready. Get your coins ready. <laughs> Get our coins ready. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> and thank you very much for that one. Uh, my last question mm -hmm. which social media platform is the best, according to you, if you're trying to come up as a content creator? I'd honestly say TikTok. If uh -huh. you're trying to go viral and be big, TikTok. Uh -huh. I'm not on TikTok though. Uh -huh. I don't know how to use it, funny thing. Uh -huh. I'd honestly say TikTok, uh -huh. but I feel like Instagram, if you're organic and authentic, uh -huh. you're going to grow using Instagram. If you're organic and authentic, yeah, you'll you're really grow using Instagram. Yeah. Okay. Do you have your reasons why you say uh, Instagram grows organic and authentic people? Uh, I feel like uh, if you grow with your followers, uh -huh. they are able. You, if you're able to interact and grow with them, uh -huh. you guys are like linked. Come on, maybe there are some people I can't unfollow uh -huh. because I follow them from when they were beginning their journey, and right now they are really, really big. Uh -huh. But I can't unfollow them because I really love them. I've seen the growth. Because I've seen where they have you come like from. You're yeah, you're life. part of their life. Yeah, so oh, that's so it. That people feel like they are part of you, that. and if you're authentic, people know you for who you are uh -huh. because. Because you know, when you see my Instagram, you'll judge me from my Instagram, but you don't know me. But if you're a true follower, you'll really know me. You'll really know how Kim is if you grew with me from when I was like, I think, 5,000 followers. 5,000 followers. Yeah. I, I thought you were about to say when you grew with me, but it was about <laughs> five years. <laughs> anyway, we had a story mm -hmm. earlier uh, where an influencer, mm -hmm. a very prominent person on social media, mm -hmm. uh, shared uh ali alipata influence again you mm -hmm. promote some company mm -hmm. and then uh some of the clients who trusted the company to get land and plant some things for them there mm -hmm. didn't get the desired mm -hmm. effect I and know then what this you're person about. Uh, went out to to apologize mm -hmm. uh, so this was a whole mess right there mm -hmm. and uh we don't know who to blame if we mm -hmm. should blame the influencer for not doing their research before mm -hmm. influencing mm -hmm. or we should blame the other person uh how do you go about making sure that the people that trust you and believe you uh, mm -hmm. that whatever you post to them is not detrimental to them I feel like as an influencer, you should always, always, always detach yourself from the brand. Uh -huh. You are not the brand. Uh -huh. You're merely working for them. You are not the brand. You are not the you and the brand are not one. Uh -huh. So whenever you put things out there, uh -huh. you should also put like like a caution exactly disclaimer uh -huh. to let them know that if this worked for you it uh -huh. may not work for them uh -huh. because you're not sure what will happen I love sometimes these brands uh -huh. give the good products to the influencer and then so, so when someone is buying <laughs> then they don't get the same product that the influencer uh -huh. put out so you see most people blame the influencers but that's not it so as an influencer always detach yourself from the brand you are not put the brand disclaimer. Yes. Always. Mm. Right. But uh, if I trust you mm -hmm. and you tell me this product will work for you, or these guys are going to get you a good car, and mm. I trust you because I've followed you since mm. you were 5,000 yeah. followers in McDonald's, mm. uh, isn't it your responsibility to make sure that I don't get hurt? It is. Uh -huh. Yeah, it is. So, how do you go about that? 
So what you do, you should always follow up with the brand. Like for example, you text me, you tell me, hi Kim, I bought this product from this and this brand because you advertise for them. Uh -huh. Nini -ni. So I that should ask you. So I should ask you how the uh, the Nini transaction went. So I should do like a follow up to know what exactly transpired between you and the brand mm -hmm. so that in case of anything, I'm able to help you because you know me, when I talk to the brand, mm -hmm. they'll have to do what I say. Kim Kadesi, everyone, for Social Friday on Y in the morning. Please share with them your social media so they can stock it. Okay, Call my Instagram channel. is mm -hmm. at Kim underscore Kadesi. My Twitter is at double underscore Kim K with a double Y. I just realized I said the name wrong again. Kadesi. Kim Kadesi. Yeah. Kim Kadesi. It's okay. Shout out to Kim Kadesi. Follow on every social media platform. Please do. And uh, we always do this every single Social Friday. We try to educate you on how you can maneuver around uh, social media and use it to make some guala. Uh, so every single Friday from 7 a.m. Uh, to 10 a.m. tune in to Y in the morning to get a taste of how you can move online. Yeah. This is how we finish. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>